I want to begin the show with Obi-Wan. He is in his place. He's in his hut, whatever you want to call it. He's sleeping. He has a nightmare. Or he's having a nightmare. Uh, then we flash back. We, we cut straight to Anakin and Obi-Wan battling on Mustafar. Cut straight to there. Obi-Wan gets the high ground. Anakin, he... The events play out exactly how Revenge of the Sith plays out until Anakin says, you underestimate power. Obi-Wan says, don't try it. And Anakin, he walks up to Obi-Wan. He says, you're right. And Anakin turns. And... Anakin realizes everything he's done. A moment of flash comes to Anakin's head. He's saying, wow, he, he's realizing his mother. What his mother want him to do this in his head? And so after that, it, it, it keeps on playing. It keeps on playing. Palpatine arrives. So now it's Anakin and Obi-Wan. What are they going to do? As soon as Palpatine gets ready to shoot force lightning at them, Obi Wan, I'm gonna say he's having he he goes back even more in time when Obi- when Qui Gon dies, and when he's asked to train Anakin, all that happens right before Palpatine's force lightning comes at him. He's remember everything, and then all of that comes to a, a complete blank, complete dark screen, and then we reverse back in time. To Obi Wan and Anakin on Mustafar, the exact spot. Ob- Anakin says, "You underestimate my power." Obi Wan says, "Don't try it," and then he cuts his legs off. So he was having a dream where he want what he wanted to happen at first, but then he's realizing that that wouldn't have worked anyway. So he's thinking in his head, "What would have worked? What would have kept Anakin and in the light side and still defeated Palpatine? What well, what could we what could he have done?" That's what he was doing. And so after that, he plays out just as Revenge of Sith. And then as Anakin's burning up, goes right back to Obi-Wan in the desert, waking up from his nightmare. Doesn't say a word. And then it says, introducing, uh, it says, you know, then it says the Kenobi show. But I like the, the, the broad viewpoint of it. I like it. Beginning with a flashback of Anakin and Obi-Wan and Revenge of the Sith. Maybe a clip that we have never seen before. Maybe a brand new clip. But I want something of just Obi-Wan and Anakin fighting again. That's what I want to see at the very beginning. And then I want Obi-Wan to wake up from this dream, from this nightmare. Look off to the distance and stare directly at Anakin's lightsaber. Just just stare right at it. So we see Obi-Wan's face... uh, we see what he's looking at, cut there for two seconds. Then go back to Obi-Wan and then play the intro Kenobi show. Obi-Wan orders extra drinks and then he cuts straight to him on the way to Lars Homestead. It's about sunset. It's, it's sunset time. Obi-Wan, uh, this is about the end of the podcast. So I got there's a couple things I got to do. Obi-Wan drives up there, he meets Owen. He hands him this, and then he, and then Open One says, "Well, uh, how's it been going the past few days, Owen? Or, I don't know, something like that." <laughs> um, there's uh, pretty well. Uh, Luke is actually no. How about you? Says Luke is very different from me, Open One. I I don't know if I can raise him, Open One. Why why would you not be able to do that? There's, he's, I'll tell you the truth. He has, he has too much of his father in him. That, that's it. Open one's like, don't. Don't say, don't say that. Oh, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. It's just, he is very different from me. And I'm not sure I'm the right person to raise him. Open one then leaves. He goes from a distance. He, Luke walks up. He looks up at the suns, the 
binary sunset with Obi-Wan looking at him and the play the binary sunset music with Obi-Wan looking at him from the distance. And then right after that, it sees the sunset. Obi-Wan, right after uh, you know, the end of the song, Obi-Wan, he wa oh why am I saying Obi-Wan? Ben. Ben Kenobi walks up to Luke and says, Hello there. <laughs> and then Luke says, Hi. Luke will say hi. 